you could start. Hi everybody, good morning. My name is Anita and I'm from Genius Kids in San Ramon Marketplace, Dublin Doverty and San Ramon Valley Boulevard. I will be your host for today's show. Along with me, I have my partner, Ms. Ranjini, who's also going to be co-hosting the show with me today. I want to thank both Ms. Ida and Radio Zindagi for this wonderful opportunity every week for Genius Kids. So really appreciate it. As you all probably know, Genius Kids is an award-winning program focusing on public speaking and confidence building. We have centers all over the Bay Area. This show is a platform for kids all over the world to participate and present their amazing public speaking skills. We are live every Saturday from 11 to 11.30 11 a.m. on 11.70 a.m with kids from all different age groups. If you want to participate in this show or want to know more information about our topics for our weekly shows, please email info at geniuskidsonline.com. We have a super interesting show today featuring kids from all over grades one through eight. Looks like we also have some little munchkins with us today. So welcome to all of you. Before we start today's show, Ms. Ranjini, my co-host, will welcome the kids and introduce the topics for today's show. Over to you, Ms. Ranjini. Thank you so much, Ms. Panita. Hi, kids. Can I all get a big hello from everybody this happy Saturday morning? Hello. 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 Good job, guys. Hello. I'm so happy to see Yay. you guys on this bright and sunny Saturday morning here. We have two fun Hello. Little... Hello. Hello, everybody. We have a fun filled show today and two interesting topics that the kids are going to be presenting. The topics are going to be one, what do you want to be when you grow up and why? And second is what are the benefits of going to college and getting a degree in the field of what you want to do? So kids, I hope you guys are ready to share your thoughts and ideas on this wonderful topics. We are so excited to hear you guys. So without further ado, let's start with our first participant, Arya. Make sure to introduce yourself and the topic you're gonna speak about, okay? Let's start. Hi, my name is Arya. I am six years old. Today, my topic is what I'm going to be when I grow up. When I grow up, I am going to be a veterinarian because I love animals. Animals are not able to communicate with us. So animals need help. The vets give animals medicine and make sure they're okay. Vets can give special medicines and take proper care of animals. They, the vets also have special techniques that can calm the animals when they are sad and scared. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Good job, Arya. That was an awesome topic. Did you decide which college you're going to go to to study more about veterinarian? Uh, not quite. Not quite yet. I love your passion for animals. Do you have a pet at home? Yes. Yes, which one? A bird. A bird. Wow. What's her name or his name? Zoe. Nice. What kind of bird do you have? A budgie. A budgie. Okay. Do you take care of the bird? Do you clean its cage? Yeah. Really? Can I ask mommy? Yeah. Yes, she does. <laughs> That's so sweet. Good one. So may you keep up your passion and become what you want to be. Okay. Good luck, uh, Arya. Okay. Moving on to our next participant here. Ami, you ready? Ami, are you ready? We cannot hear you, sweet. Are you on mute? Um. Hi, my name is Amir. I am 11 years old. I mean, you know what? Hold on. Can you keep your phone somewhere because you're shaking too much and we cannot see your face. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Hi, my name is Amir. I am 11 years old. I want to be a SWAT team when I grow up. I mean, you know what? You can talk in your own words, okay? We really want to hear about your topic. So don't be nervous. Talk in your own words. We're just here to hear you and support you, okay? Keep going, honey. Good job. Uh, Good why? I want to be a SWAT team because I really don't know. 
You want to be in a SWAT team. So I, I see that you have a passion for law and order. So do you know uh, anybody who is a cop in real life? Yes. You do? So you drive inspiration from them, looks like. Why do you want to be in a SWAT team, though? Um, like helping people? Yeah. I okay, nice. All right. So if you have more to say on the topic, we'll come back to you. But good job presenting today. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. Next up, we have Elijah. Elijah, would you be able to present now? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you start? When I grow up, I want to be a police officer because police officers put bad, put bad guys in jail. Is that all, Elijah? Do you have more to say? Mm. That's good. That was good. Do you watch any movies about police and cops? Which one is yeah. your favorite movie? Fireman Sam. Yeah, that was a good one. Awesome job coming and presenting on today's show. Good job. Listeners, if you're just tuning in, this is Conquer the Mic, Voices of the Future, a unique public speaking presentation program with kids all around the world country. If you or your child want to participate in this show, please email info at geniuskidsonline.com or you can email reynod at gmail.com. Our next participant on today's show is Arush. Arush, you ready? Yeah. Hello, friend. Hello, my name is Arush. I'm four years old. Today I'm going to talk about when I grow up. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a superhero because I love to because I love to fly. Thank you for listening to my to my presentation. That's so cool, Arush. I'm so happy you turned up on the show and you're just four years old. Listeners, that is our future leader right there. Who is going to be our superhero, superman for tomorrow? Thank you so much, Arush. That was really sweet. Who is your favorite superhero? I'm pretty sure you watch a lot of superheroes. I think um, Batman. Batman. That's nice. He has a Batman cape. I love to fly with that one. Okay, because he has the best Batman cape. That's nice. Miss Anita, do you think we can ask a quick question to the kids at this time? Go ahead, Miss Ranjini. I'm sure kids are super excited to talk today. Thank you. So this question is very close to what Arish was speaking about. If your profession was a superhero, what would your superpower be and why? Who is ready to answer that? Not Arish, because he already said he's going to fly. If you are a superhero, what would be your superpower? Anybody wants to try? Amir and Elijah wants to try. Yes, go ahead. I want to be invisible. So when I go hide and seek, nobody nobody can find me. Okay, you want to go hide and nobody can find you. You want to be the invisible man. Okay, who else? Amir? When I grow up, I want to be, I mean, superhero. my superpower. my superpower I want to be is a, a flying power. A flying power, you too. Hmm, another Superman. That's nice. Okay, anybody else? Oh, Arya wants to try. Yes, Arya. When I have a superpower, my superpower I would like to have is time travel. So I can do something fun again. That's so neat. Time travel. Very nice. That's very unique. That's some very unique thoughts. Wow. I know, right? Okay. So let's move on with our show. Oh, Riti still has something to say. Yes, Riti. If I was a superpower, if I had a superpower, my superpower would be teleportation. So I could tell, go wherever I want without having to go in the car or airplane. Wow. <laughs> Me too. Close your eyes and just teleport wherever you want. That's neat. Good job. Rian, you ready to talk now? Yeah. Arush did an amazing job. So we're looking forward to hear what you have to say. 
Rayanj, go ahead, sweetheart. Introduce yourself, tell us how old you are and go with your topic. Oh, <laughs> you need some more time, Rayanj? Okay, okay, let's come back. I have, I have a riddle that I want to ask the kids. They're all super hey, motivated. Uh, can today. I say my superpower? Can I say, oh, yeah. say my Go ahead, Gabriel. Yes. Sorry, Gabriel, we missed you. Go ahead, honey. My superpower is to... I practically don't know. I like I can change it every time. Okay. You want to change? You want every a superpower time. that you can change every time. That's a good yes. superpower. <laughs> like time travel or something like that. That's good. That's creative. Yeah. yeah. Gabriel, are you ready with your presentation today, Gabriel? Yes. Okay. Why don't you go now? We're all waiting to listen to you. Go ahead. Hi. I am Gabriel or Matt. I love cats. Meow. Um, I want in the future I would like to become a game developer and free runner to do parkour. Uh, free runner to fa to to fa parkour because speed to be a game developer because of many things, like learning how to script, make music. Yes, all of that. I have a lot of things to do today, maybe in the future as well. So yeah, that's my presentation. Thank you, Gabriel. One fact of the day. Mm -hmm. Blue is the best color. Blue is the best color. That's one fact of the day for you. <laughs> thank you so much. And this country thank you. is all the way from Romania. Yeah, that's thank you for joining us from you know from your country. So mm -hmm. I'm uh, really interested. So you want to be a game developer? Do you play a lot of games? Yes. What's that's your favorite? How to, that that's how I managed to learn too much English. Oh, see, there you go. <laughs> and I want to be a freelancer because I told you, speed. You like speed? Yes, I want to do parkour because speed. Okay, that's good to know. All right, so do we have time for a riddle now? Uh, yes, I think. I think we have one more yes. question, so we, we have time for a riddle. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So I'm going to ask the question, you can raise your hand if you want to answer. What is always in front of you, but you can never see it? Mm, that's a tricky one. <gasps> Rayanj wants to try. Yes, Rayanj. Oh, Arush. A chameleon. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Go to chameleon. Okay, but that's not the answer. Do you have a pet chameleon at home, Arush? No, no, I don't have any animal that my power. Oh, okay. Who else wants to try? Aria wants to try. Okay. Go ahead, yes, Aria. Air? Air. Good mm. one, That's a good one. Yeah. Not quiet. Anyone else wants to try? It's something to do with time travel, Aria. Haha, <laughs> time travel. Go. <laughs> I have it. Yes. Yes, the with future. you. The future. Yeah, wow. this is the future. Good job. Awesome. Amazing. Okay. Um, Rianch, are you ready to talk now? You want to try now? I can't see anything. <laughs> no. You can't see anything. <laughs> okay. Hey, I your eyes are closed. Okay, Adush, you guys can go on mute. It's going to be Rithi's turn. Okay, Rithi, you ready for your presentation? Yes. Go ahead, sweetheart. Hi, I'm Rithi. I'm a third grader and I am eight years old. I live in Pennsylvania. The topic I will speak about today is what are the benefits of going to college and getting a degree in something you love? Like one of my favorite people, Katherine Johnson, once said, like what you do and you will do your best. This means you will likely excel at something you love. Studying will become fun, so you'll study more. I like to read, and I'm pretty good at it. I can read for hours on top of hours without getting bored of it. I love everything about reading. 
My next reason is it will be fun for the students. Doing what you love is enjoyable, but at the end of the day, you have still learned something new. It's a win-win situation. Then, something you love sticks in your brain. For example, if a student likes music but doesn't like math, which will most likely stick in their brain, a song they like, or how to do algebra. Right, the song. But why? The student likes music, so remembers music. As another example, would you rather have a doctor operate on you who loves being a doctor or a doctor who doesn't care for the job? My best guess is the doctor who likes being a doctor. Again, why? Because the doctor who likes being a doctor will learn new things every day and they can use it to make whatever they're doing better. But the doctor who doesn't like the job simply won't care. Last but not least, the world would be a much happier place if everyone did what they loved. You would wake up feeling happy knowing that, oh, I'm going to go to a job which I love instead of just having a dark, gloomy face on. You can enjoy the whole day if you do what you love. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Awesome job, Ruthie. That's very true. Being passionate about what you do matters the most. Always do what makes you happy. Good job. And I'm really curious. So what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a rocket scientist. Wow. Okay, you already have a path carved out for it, where you want to study? Yeah, I want to go to MIT. Wow. <laughs> You're in third grade, Riti? Wow. Yeah. That's super advanced. Awesome. Keep it up. And you know what? You're still young, so your paths may change. But you know what? Love what you want to do, right? So do what you want, what you love. It was about to say. Good. Good job. All right, so I think Ms. Ranjini, that's about, I just want to give one more chance to Amir. Amir, you want to talk? No? Elijah, I think Elijah was the one who, who couldn't talk before. Okay, I think Elijah spoke, but probably Amir did not, but that's okay. Um, how about you, Arush? All right, so I think we have time for one more riddle, Ms. Ranjini. So can I go for it? Sure, yeah. Okay. All right, so kids ready? So same rules, raise your hand if you know the answer, okay? I'm light as a feather, yet the strongest person cannot hold me for even five minutes. What am I? I repeat the question. I'm light as a feather, yet the strongest person cannot hold me for five minutes. What am I? Riti wants to try. Riti, air? Let me get the answer. Is it air? Yeah. Close. Almost there. Yeah. Oxygen? Wow, she's on the right path. You're on the right path. Arya, you want to try once? And we'll come back to Riti. Wind. Wow, you guys are all super close. Hello, can I answer? Yes, Gabriel. Yes, okay. I think it's a snowflake. Snowflake? Not quite. How about you, Elijah? Wind. Wow, you guys I are think all they're all, you yeah, know, they're all right there. Good. So the answer is your breath. Oh. oh. How strong you are, can you hold your breath even for a minute? Probably a minute, yeah, but not five minutes, right? Yeah. That's a good one. Okay, all right. I think I have one more, okay? So what invention lets you look right through a wall? What invention lets you look right through a wall? I Let's think see. I have it. Okay. Yeah, Ruthie. Ruthie. A window? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Good, yeah. Good, yeah. Good, yeah. Yes. Good job, Arush and Rayanj. Good job. Is it a window? Yes, it is a window. A window. Yeah. Got right. Good job. You know what? Since you guys are so good with riddles, I'm going to give you guys a chance to ask this group a riddle of your choice. So who you wants to have go? riddles for us? I think we'll have yes, time for two kids. So Aria. do you have one, Arya? Yeah. What did the man do when he wanted to see the animals closer in the zoo? Hmm. That's a good mm. one. Did he go closer, Arya? No. Used no. a binocular? No. Anybody did else wants to try? Well, he wanted to take a picture, but he was too far. So what did he do? He zoomed in. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a riddle. Okay, go ahead, Ricky. Yes, what starts with a P, ends with an E, and has thousands of letters inside? Mm. Repeat the question for us again. What starts with a P, ends with an E, and has thousands of letters inside? Starts with the P and ends with an E and have thousands of letters inside. I've never seen a word that has thousand letters. Hmm. That's a trick question, I'm pretty okay. sure. You want to give us a clue, Ricky? It's not a It's a mm, A clue? Yeah. Letters are in actually the letters that you think they are. Hmm. That's a tricky clue too. <laughs> okay. Oh, ah, post office. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Good one, Ms. Ranjini, you guessed it. Can I ask a question? Yes. yes Good one, Riti. Okay, let me ask one. That'll be our last one. We need to wind up right after that, okay? What? I didn't hear. Can no, you go ahead, please. Please. Go ahead. Ask your riddle first, yeah. Uh, what has eels? What has a, a snoot or a nose? Uh, what has a fluffy, floof? So what has ears and what very has cuddly. Yes. What I'll give you a hint. It's better than a dog. It's better than a dog. Hmm. Okay, then it must be a cat. Ears, nose, better than a dog. Kids, we have to go fast. We have 30 seconds to wrap up here. So quick guesses. Perfect. A cat. Is, is it a cat or a bunny? Gabriel, why don't you give the answer? Okay, I'm going to wrap up the show, Mr. Anjali. Gabriel, will come back to you next time, okay? Thank you, Ms. Ira. Thank you, Radio Zindagi, for this awesome opportunity for kids all around the world to participate in this show. Viewers, don't forget to tune in next week on 11.70 a.m. from 11 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. to watch our little kids' preschool, pre-K, and kinders talk on their amazing and favorite topic. Also, we're currently enrolling kids for Summer Camp 2021. So if you want more information on our Summer Camp, please email info at geniuskidsonline.com. Thank you again for this amazing opportunity. Bye, everyone. Have a good weekend. Thank Happy you. Happy Saturday, everybody. Bye. Thanks for joining. Bye. 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 Bye.